Hi everyone, I'm Chris Jones. And I'm Katie Jo. And we're from Facewear Technologies. And we've been getting a lot of questions from our users about whether or not you need markers on an actor's face to use Facewear's software. The answer is no. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people have started to do it. It can lead to more accurate placement of the training frames and analyzer, mm -hmm. uh, more consistent over the course of a shot, many shots, if you're into a batch process, if you have multiple analyzer users working on the same actor, it can help with consistency in marker placement. Um, so again, the software is not using the dots, it's to aid um, an analyzer user. Mm. Um, so the other thing we get asked is what, what should I use? Uh, usually eyeliner is a good one. It's cheap, accessible, and it works well. So we've got liquid eyeliner here. You can use a makeup pencil if you want to do that. Uh, we always say go for high contrast. So either a, a white or a black eyeliner, depending if you have a, like a light skin tone or a dark skin tone. So just to get that high contrast. Um, so now today we're going to show you how to apply the dots and let's go. Let's start with the nose. Three points. One at the base of the nose and then the inside edges in the middle of the nostrils. Now the eyebrows. We'll start inside point, top ridge, top of the eyebrow, outside point, follow the bridge to where it bends, midpoint there. Now the midpoint between those two, and the midpoint between those two. Repeat for the other side. middle, now midpoint between those, midpoint between those. And the mouth, we want to think of kind of the four anchor points, top, bottom, left, and right, the philtrum ridges, and the cupid's bow, kind of think of them as one point, and we'll do outside edges, and the bottom, center. So these are our anchors. Now we want two evenly spaced dots between each set of anchors. Here, here, here. Two evenly spaced dots. Great. The jaw. Follow the center line down. And two dots evenly spaced on the outside edges of the jaw. Great. Now we'll do the cheeks. So we want to follow the nasal labial fold, the smile lines, if you will. So we'll go smile and then take lateral from the nose and do one there. And then lateral from the mouth over there and relax. And we'll follow that crease. Put one in the middle. Now we'll repeat on the other side. Smile for me. Outside edge of the nose, follow it out. Good. Inside the outside of the mouth, follow it out and relax. Follow that crease. Put one in the middle. Great. Now we want to put them on the uh, apple of the cheek, kind of the top point, so we can see the cheek movement. Smile again for me. And we'll kind of find that point on the top edge and come laterally across. Top edge. You can kind of use the outside of the eye as a gauge to know how wide to go. And lastly, we'll do uh, two points, one point for each eye, just kind of at the base of the eye. The marker, center our eye dots. Great, and that's the marker set for face wear that mirrors the markup scheme and analyzer. Thanks for watching.